Finally, the sorcerers are here. So far, they've introduced the concept of mages and sorcerers. I still don't completely understand. By the looks of it, don't the sorcerers seem kind of evil? By the way that other people talk about them, they're kind of like scam artists. But I'm not sure because now they're suddenly gaslighting us and Elias saying, Hey, you're using her as a test rat. Hey, you know what happens to slave Beggy? The, the inevitable death comes from them. I think there's some secrets that Elias is hiding. I don't think we're necessarily the bad guys, but are the sorcerers the bad guys? I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Quite the cliffhanger we had last episode. Yeah. What is the fate of all slave Beggies? Love conquers all. Okay, today's uh, philosophical one-liner is quite simple. Will love conquer this predicament we're in? On ending supply of magic hmm? their bodies are fragile we can burn out wait remember that time we were showing nebina's final dream how she passed out afterwards that was the byproduct of her using her magic too much right so elias no i, I think they're gaslighting us man but this is true we did pass out but I think Elias isn't necessarily using us as death threats, right? Elias doesn't? He isn't a human, and they've been trying to reiterate this point over and over. This is true. I mean, everything he's saying isn't wrong. But the way he's framing it really makes Elias seem like the bad guy right now, huh? Yo, leave the fairy alone! Huh? What broke? She broke out of his clutches somehow. Immediately goes for Ariel. Oh, the cats! <laughs> Even the the king of the cats is here too. Set free? To, yeah, for like, exact from what? And also, and then what? Where would she go afterwards? Now, is this Stockholm Syndrome? Is this, you know, she's saying not knowing any better because, again, she has nothing left. And he is the first person to value her. Granted, he bought her for 5 million pounds. But still, you know, it's like... Ah, ah, ah. Damn. Oh, I belong... Oh, what is... Hold up, is Elias doing something? That's his magic, right? He's the thorn. I am a shadow. Hold up, this ain't the eminence of shadow. Pirum that's what they called him last episode too. Pirum Muralis. But his name is Elias, but I guess that's a different name that he goes by, maybe? Damn, that thorn magic is really cool though. And the music immediately stops playing. Oh, we got caught. Oh, oh, I bet it heals her somehow. I don't know, did, did that actually heal the wound or... <laughs> she just... <laughs> Drink the blood for no reason. Yo, I can't see anything. It's so dark. I can't see shit, man. It's so dark. And with the visual overlay for you guys, you guys can't see shit even more. Oh. It's absorbing us. Uh, Elias, this is part of the game plan. You said just imagine and believe and it'll work. All right, flashback time. There he is. That's the husband. How did he turn into the cat slayer? Because, like... His wife loves cats. She didn't really seem to like the cats, but maybe he blames the sickness on the cats. I don't know. Another sorcerer. Ooh. Hmm, my trap senses are blaring. I think this is a guy. And the sorcerer probably offers a solution, but I bet it's not really a solution. Judging by the eerie piano music playing and the character of sorcerers we know so far, like I don't think they can quite assume, but I don't I don't think we can completely trust sorcerers. I, I don't know. So, look at the smile! No, this is not good. This is not good. And this, he's dangerous. See, my trap senses were blaring, man. So what's the news, Doc? What's going on? Why were you smiling all evil like in the tavern when we weren't watching? The cat doesn't trust the sorcerer. But she can get better if you sacrifice cats? I, I don't know. Come on, there's gotta be a different way, right? 
And then he's gonna be all desperate now and start begging for a solution to be like, Oh, actually, there's one method. And it somehow involves killing cats. Anything? Anything? Uh -oh. Look at the way he's smiling. He's torturing this poor guy. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Why are you bringing up cats now? Cats have nine lives. So somehow transfer those lives to the wife? Huh? Don't go in there. Don't open the door, Denji. Don't do it. Don't open the door. Uh... You can't stop her from going in, though. Yeah, don't look, don't look. Oh, it's too late. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not here. Oh, no, she saw. Oh, no, she... Oh, I don't want to see the cat. I think they're all hung upside down. I don't know. Could you imagine the smell? Bro! Look, if you... Those are some twisted eyes. Nina. Oh! But like, you can kind of understand where he's coming from. He really thinks that this is gonna save his wife and this is the only way. So incredibly fucked. Especially because she loves cats. Potion out of cat blood. Oh, has she been taken it this entire time, maybe? I, I wonder if she's been taken it this entire time and she's suddenly realizing I've been drinking dead cat potion. Okay, maybe she hasn't drank the potion yet. I don't think she ever would. I wonder, would the potion actually heal her? That's, that'd be the most interesting part. That would be so twisted. If the potion actually did heal her. Bro, how unfair is it that you're killing these cats? Sorcerers are terrible. Sorcerers are terrible. Maybe it's just that one sorcerer, but based on how people perceive them. Because it's for you. Uh, uh, your smile is creepy. The sorcerer. And then, they make her drink it right now. Able bodied, but this is gonna be like a monkey's paw. Live forever as the corruption. The potion with the cats causes the corruption to happen. So she wasn't really lying. She doesn't die. She lives on forever as a corruption. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. That's a lab rat. Hold up. That's what the sorcerers are blaming Elisa doing. Oh, and then the corruption happens. This is so cruel. This is so cruel. It's not okay. Do you see her? She's screaming. This is so fucked. This is so fucked. And then the cats end up killing him too, right? Or does he become the corruption? I don't know how this really works, but... This is how the corruption started. Oh! See? She turned into that sludge! Bro! Then she's not okay anymore! Holy shit, she actually just exploded into this corruption sludge, I think. I don't think that's necessarily her blood. I think that's like the black sludge we saw as the corruption. It failed? Bro! Bro! Oh! Are you gonna apologize for this? Hello? What are they researching for, though? What is their ultimate goal? What if this succeeded? If this succeeded, then his experiment of, I don't know, created some kind of immortal being? I, I, I don't know. Love conquers all, right? That was this episode's one-liner in the beginning. Bro, you can't just let that sorcerer go, go get, go hunt him! I guess he's too mentally broken at this point. Uh, this is so cruel. This is so fucked. Dude, the sorcerers are so evil. What is this copium? I need to kill more cats now. Did you not hear him? I guess he didn't hear him saying that it lost the form and it failed the experimentation. You should be directing this hate towards the sorcerer, not the cats. Now leave the cat alone! Oh, Tim is her favorite cat, right? Bro, your precious Mina 
is in liquid form right now. I don't think she's there anymore, bro. Stop it. End the flashback, please. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice one, Tim. Let's go. Oh, shit. This was the revolt of the cats. Gotcha. So Tim lived. Tim was the last king. Oh, shit. Should have known. So cruel. Sucks for him. I wonder what Chisei's thinking. What a fucked up flashback. Yeah. You guys said this is a dark fantasy. This is definitely dark. It's kind of teetering on like, you know, in Full Metal Alchemist, the initial scene when they try to like resurrect their mom, but then the mom came back as a homunculi and then it was all like losing shape and all that shit was so fucked. Even like the transfusion of like the daughter and the dog coming together to become a chimera. It's like, oh my God. This shit's pretty much on that level, I think. Yeah, you did! Oversharing your memories! Gift of sight? Does that come with the slave Beggy? Gift of sight into other people's lives like that? This seems like right thing. We should, no, we gotta do it. No, no, no. Yes? No, there's no other way, though. What do you mean? Like, what could we do from here on, though? Is the... Like, can we somehow bring her back to life? I don't think so. No, King of the Cats! Remember? I'll be returning soon. That's the exact same line that Nevin also said. But remember what the King of the Cats owner? Yeah, that girl, bro! Yeah, but how about you don't die right now when she's still a kid? Come on! Dude... The theme of life and death in this anime goes way too hard, like... And these are just beings that we just got introduced to. Nevin the dragon, now the king of the cats. Imagine if there's some kind of important character death in the future that I'm actually gonna get attached to. Hmm. Did we find a new path? Huh? Wait, what? Hold up. Okay, Ariel has wind powers, but what can we do with that? Here. I'm not following, but somehow we found an alternative path. But we are getting rid of the corruption. We're not erasing her. Does erasing and cleansing mean the same thing? Damn. The imagery in this show is so beautiful. The art and animation, man, goes so hard. I wonder if Matthew will be around. I don't know. It'd be nice for Matthew and her to have like a nice closure scene. Because they did not have a good ending, man. Oh, there's Matthew. Okay, so they will get some kind of good ending. Thank God. The way that they, you know, the way that she just turned into Sledge in his arms. Even before that, how she saw him killing all those cats. That's so cruel. Man, fuck these sorcerers, man. What's wrong with them? What is their goal? Trying to experiment on people? Trying to manipulate souls? Are they trying to create some kind of immortal soldier? I don't know. Maybe I understood wrong, but I, th I thought erasure and cleansing is the same term. Are we cleansing them right now? As what Ellie said in the previous episode, using Ariel, the wind somehow can... Somehow, I don't know, blow away the corruption. I And then it's like, okay, but... Elias. Well, he can appear in this realm too. I'm still worried about what he said about Elias though. About he has no emotions. And that he's just using her. The whole scene with Matthew being deceived by the sorcerer. And then killing the cats. And then Mina finding out. And then her turning to Sledge. That she was corrupted. That she was cursed. But... But we did have a really good ending with the Slave Beggy's power using Ariel to blow off the wind. I'm still not really sure what happened between cleansing versus erasure. I thought they were the same thing, but I guess they can finally rest in peace now. But again, so many life and death themes in this show. We haven't even got to like a character that I might really be sad for. Like this is going to hit hard in the future. So I got to prepare myself. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.